Okay, so welcome to day two, week one, day two of your work that you've probably already completed, but I wanted to go through it with you just quickly to make sure that uh, you could check. So if you've already done this page, you can get it out and check. We're going to be writing Q, U, and you'll remember last time we talked about Q having a helper, and that is always going to be you. So we'll be writing them together. Now, Q begins on the dash line, circle, long backwards monkey tail below the baseline. U lives under the dash line. It's a scoop and a line. So queen begins with the sound qu, and so we are writing Q-U, so you would have traced that. Remember this funny bird is named a quail, quail, and um, we do need to write Q-U because qu is at the beginning of quail. I'm going to name the rest of the pictures, and I can see a couple of them that might have been very confusing. Car, here's a really confusing one, quill, quill. It's an old-fashioned kind of writing where you dipped this end into liquid ink and then you could write quill, quarter, quarter, quilt, quilt, map, map. Question mark, question mark. So if you were writing Q-U, you would have written it next to quail and quill. So I am going to um, say that one of these pictures does not begin with Q-U, qu. Is it quarter, quilt, map, or question mark? One does not begin, the rest do. And if you said map, you're correct, that begins with M. Mm. So you would have had written Q-U for all of these. On the back of this paper, if I turn it over, was a free write. I bet you were excited to see this. And today, when you did this work, you could write anything you like. So I hope that one day you'll be able to read that to me. Um, these, this is a really familiar math page again. This was make eight and nine. And the way we are making numbers is by using two colors. Um, the, on this page they used red and yellow suggested, but you didn't have to. You could use two of your favorite colors. You're going to color some of them your first favorite color and some of them your second favorite color. And then you will see that if you colored four in red, and then you would have four to color in yellow, and four and four make eight. And then you would be making nine the same way. I'm sure you remember how to do this, it's pretty much the same. So we are making eight and nine, we're getting to be big numbers. So we do not have to color all the picture when we have so many. Um, this one is given to us an example though, one and seven. So we know that one of these must be colored our first favorite color. And in this case, you could just color the wheels or the hood or something. And seven will be colored our second favorite color because one and seven is going to make eight. So that's one way to make eight. Then trace the numbers to practice. Just heard my clock gonging. <laughs> um, for number four, we're gonna make nine. So we are going to have nine flags. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we need to color to match these numbers, six and three. The first number will be our first favorite color. We're gonna color six 
our first favorite color. And you could just color the flagpoles for this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six would be our first favorite color. And then we do have three left for our second color. One, two, three, then trace the number. Now here, number five is asking you to find another way to make nine. We have nine pennies here and you're going to choose two colors. Remember, it must be different from this first number. It cannot be six. It could be any other number up to number nine, but you cannot use six. So something different for your first number. Use your first color and then color the rest. Write how many make nine. On the back, this is on my own and you're going to be doing the same thing that you did on the other page, making eight, <gasps> making eight a second time. These need to be different ways. So if you use three for your first uh, number, then this first number cannot be three. You need to choose something else. Now for this page, I'm going to say that if you haven't done it already, and when we get to making 10, you can just put X's in your first favorite color and then X's in your second favorite color. Just make sure you can see them and count them. Don't make them messy because you're still going to need to count how many in order to write the number here. Then make eight a different way. So this number will be different. And finally make nine the same way. Easy peasy. All right, so this one is problem solving and you are looking for groups that show a way to make eight. So we are going to circle groups that show a way to make eight. Now one of the secrets to this is, are there eight objects in the group? Well, we can figure that out by counting. Let's count both colors of these puppies. We have four brown puppies and five um, tan puppies. And let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine puppies all together. So that is not a way to make eight, but later on it will be a way to make nine. Let's look at the trees. We have light green trees and dark green trees. Let's count how many trees there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This picture does show a way to make eight because it has eight objects and it shows it as four and four. Okay, so let's move on to groups of nine. We're putting X's on groups that show a way to make nine. And one way that we already saw was the puppies. The puppies make nine, so we would be putting a big X on that group. And the way this shows to make nine is four and five. Now here's a group of picnic baskets, here's a group of squirrels, and here is a group of bicycles that is a little bit tricky because here is the first color of bicycles, one, two, red bikes. And then the rest are going to be blue bikes. So if this is a way to show eight, count them all and then circle it. If it is a way to show nine, put an X on it. You'll need to count all the bikes and then it is showing a way to make eight or nine. You are going to show that. These are some vocabulary cards. Um, the words on the back, you're going to trace like you always do. And then you can know the word, which this is that weird word, eight, by counting how many dots all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's going to show you how many then you can practice reading the number words from four to nine. So that's it for um, your worksheets for today. Remember to look at 
also your new FASA snap words and I'm going to show those to you in our little book here. We um, did not have a chance to read the story, but you know that in our little book here, let me just fix this a little bit. In our little book, it shows our letters of the week, J and Q, and then some pictures that begin with J, some pictures that begin with Q, and some words to read. Um, and here is our new fast as a snap word. So here they are, and one of them is here. We use that a lot. Here it is. And the other word is me, me. So let's say the letters in me, M-E, me. And let's say the letters in here, H-E-R-E, -E, here. Here comes the bus. A jet will take me home. In the next video, I'm going to read this story, Dad Got a Job. Dad got a job, job. And I'm going to read the story to you. And then I'm going to ask you to think about some of the words on the page. So thanks for listening. And I'm sure you're doing a great job. I will see you next time. The next video is going to be a welcome video with Clifford and Pete the Cat. So I will name it Clifford and Pete the Cat. <laughs> see you later. Bye.